it's decision time. Is it going to be a Kit Kat or is it going to be a chocolate finger? You decide. I'm way home and I'm wearing my new GoPro swag. I uh, part the second part of my prize when I won the GoPro. I've now got a GoPro snapback and GoPro buff. Not that I need the buff in a uh, nice warm day today. Pretty liking, liking the hat, it's very American. Not my style, with the metal bag. Um, but it's a hat, I'll wear it. So uh, yeah, a thanks to uh, Sophie uh, Radcliffe, also known as Challenge Sophie. And uh, yeah, check her out online. Um, yeah, cool prizes. So up till now, most of my vlogs have been recorded using my uh, Sony M4 Aqua, uh, which is a phenomenally good camera for a mobile phone. I'm now going to try and use the Lumix that I got at the car boot sale a little bit more. Now that I've worked out that I can record in MP4, which is a damn sight easier to get into the editing studio that I use. And hopefully the quality will be a bit better than the self-facing camera that I use on the uh, Sony mobile phone. So I'm in the kitchen. Woohoo! In the kitchen. Um, all the girls are upstairs, um, chilling out. Don't worry, I will be getting them out later on today. I'm currently making tea. Helen's gone to work, but she's got in... It's not a cottage pie. It's kind of a cottage hot pot. You'll see you later. And I've just made some Yorkshire pudding mix. So if you want to know how to make proper Yorkshire puddings by the Yorkshire Dad, check this out. So the mix goes in. And really, I, for the sake of filming this, I've allowed the fat cool down a little bit too much, but that shouldn't be too big a problem. And here come the Yorkshire puddings! Get your nose out of the oven, Duke! Get your nose out of the oven, Duke! Oh, look at those! Look at those! Crispy, gorgeous! You setting the table for us, Grace? Yeah. Come on then, crack on! Crack on, lass! Are we just having forks? Are we just eating with forks? Yeah. How are you going to cook your Yorkshire puddings with a fork? Uh, good idea. That's a cracking idea, isn't it? Uh, where did you get that little stand from? My old wedding photography bag. Yeah. Kids. Ten minutes we've been in there and they've been messing about for ten minutes. We get out to walk the dogs. There are the dogs, waiting to go. I need the toilet! <sighs> Anyway, we're going to go. So, for... we're out on our walk and we were going to go to the pond in Kirby and see if we can see any frogs. However, that's the field that leads to the pond and we now have cows grazing and they've got young with them. And having dogs, children, giant cows. Okay, they're not any bigger than your average cow, but they're big. Um, I'm just going to make a health and safety assessment and say, we'll go somewhere else. It's a bit of a shame, really. But, uh, we'll be fine. Duke, have I ever Duke told you that Kirby Moorside has a castle? It's called Neville Castle. It's granted, there is not a lot left of the castle. Um, in fact, you can see it all right there. But a castle, nonetheless. Who's in the window, guys? A bush. A bush? Yeah. That's a strange name. What's all these smells, Duke? What can you smell? You can smell horse manure. Leave it alone. Delilah and Verity are somewhere down there. Who knows where? Oh, I can see heads bobbing. Are they coming? Are they coming? There they are! Hi! Hi! We've got a 
You saw what? A fox. A fox? Yeah, yeah. And what did the fox see? Um, <laughs> Where's Verity going? Duke's going to find her. And I'm going to find Duke. And Dottie's coming too. Dottie and Delilah do have a very special relationship. Delilah is definitely Dottie's favourite child. She always wants to know where Delilah is. Oh, there's a bit of a sword fight going on here. Oh, what's happened to yours? Oh, yeah. <laughs> See who's got the longest. Uh, me. <laughs> oh, low blow, low blow. Please try not to hit me. <laughs> well, it's a lovely peaceful evening in the woods. These two are rummaging in the undergrowth, finding sticks. The dogs are happy having a sniff around. Okay, come and get out. Leave I'm them. sat on a bench. Thinking, Max, what am I Max, thinking? Max, well, that's why I'm thinking because Helen shared something on Facebook with me earlier on today. I love Goodnight Sweetheart, the uh, British, British, for anybody who's watching outside Britain, TV comedy series from the 90s. It starred Nicholas Lindhurst. Um, look it up. It's a cracking series. I've got the, got the box set. I've watched it over and over again. I love it. And the BBC are bringing back lots of old sitcoms for one off half hour specials. Good Night Sweetheart is one of them and today she shared a photo, um, a link to Digital Spy and some photos of the cast reunited having a read through of the script. Um, it's coming, it's coming soon. I really hope the BBC actually make a success of this and actually persuade the cast to uh, come back for another series. Don't think it'll happen but I can dream. So, yes, well we're getting off now and uh, we're homeward bound. Had a craving for chocolate fingers and Kit Kat, so I sent Delilah in to buy some. It's decision time. Is it going to be a Kit Kat or is it going to be a chocolate finger? You decide. <laughs> so what are we having? Um, I'm just going to wait until one of them decide, so then... Well, if you take much longer, I'm going to eat them all. Oh. Lydia's gone with the fingers. Verity's gone with the Kit Kat. <laughs> These two cherubs are going to bed. No, not tonight. Don't need doing. Let's zoom, zoom right in there. We've done our teeth well. Good. Keep going then. So tonight is going to be another big night in our house. Verity's going to have another go at losing the pull up. She wants to do it. And she the... can do it. Good morning! Been a bit busy this morning. First of all, we had a lie in. Then we've been up to the charity shop and then the library. And we've all joined, well, the girls have all joined the summer reading challenge. Hence, they're all reading. And we never There's washing read. on the line. And the sun we... is shining. And we never read. And we're now about to clean out the garage. So let's go have a look at the garage. <laughs> oh, I bought a selfie stick as well. One ninety nine from the charity shop. It's pink. It's pink, yes. The girls seem to like the fact that it's pink. Now you're not going to see much in here because it's dark. But Helen's just opening the other door. Bit of a tip. As you can see, it's a bit messy. Nicely organised bags on one side, chaos on the other. So let's clean out the garage. Seriously, do not know how we accumulate so much rubbish. The car behind me is filling up. I don't remember buying half of this stuff. Meanwhile, Helen is going crazy in the garage, removing anything. I've got to be very careful, otherwise I'm going to lose something. The first car load is ready to go. Back to the tip. Men love going to the tip, don't they? Um, I, can I no, go that's going. It's, I know. Get it in there. No, no, 
There is no taking anything out of the car. Once Can it's I in the car, it's going. You won't be able to get out of the car. Children aren't allowed. Please, it's going to go with you. No. Please. No. Please. No, because I might get some on the front seat yet when we're still tidying up. Please. Right, we're shutting the boot. Beep, 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 beep. So, on the way to the tip now. Wombleton tip. I've always found that quite amusing that I go to Wombleton too because, you know, Wombles at Wimbledon and all that. So, uh, Wombleton, here we come. On a nice sunny Saturday. On a beautiful day. Tip run number one, done. Let's see what we can get on the next journey. When we used to live in Dewsbury, I never really liked going to Dewsbury Tip. The staff there were quite rude and ignorant. You can't put that in there, mate! That kind of people. The two guys at Wombleton Tip, run by North Yorkshire Council, you know, they're the most helpful, friendly guys. They've just literally helped me empty the boot. They're helping the other guys, a couple of Belgian fellas there, empty their car. You know, can't fault them. I've always said, if Carlsberg did tips, Wombledon tip would be it. Lavender is growing. They started very small. A little wishing well. And this is Delilah's sunflowers. We're a bit late with the sunflowers, but we're getting there. We're going to transplant them into a bigger pot later. I've got right, with one Delilah. over there. And there's one over there too. Next there, Grace, as well. He's upside down. So, back to tidying. How good is it having a sort out? Because I found some boxes that I knew I had somewhere that had computer cables, bits and pieces in, USB cables, stuff that I put away in case you never know. So I'm just improvising in. some shelving now. Uh, I've got some uh, it's about 8 mil MDF board and up there half a sheet of this board fits perfectly between the two beams of the rafters. So I'm shelving it out. Uh, which means I've got more space for more junk. Yeah. So the garage is nearly done. A bit more shelving put in. And it's looking a lot better. Well, tidier. Tidier. We've still got quite a lot of stuff, but it's stuff we use. Uh, we've got an awful lot of uh, supplies for a rabbit, stroke guinea pig, and we don't have one. And unfortunately, Rebecca the rabbit died a few weeks ago. But we're going to get some guinea pigs, hopefully, when we've uh, been on holiday later this summer. Yay! So I've just said to the, uh, the little girls, get your swimming costumes on. To which they said, why? Yes, we're going to go to the outdoor pool again. We've got a fun session this afternoon. Uh, so hopefully that's floats, balls, mess around, have a play in the water. It should be good fun for them. Duke's currently, Duke's got a thing for buckets and spades. There he is. Um, he, 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 Leave a plastic bucket and spade out and he will play with them. Uh, then again, he's a Labrador, he will chew anything. If you put it down and it sits still long enough. So, uh, yeah, just got a few more bits to do. And then we're going to get ready to go swimming. Where have we just been, guys? Swimming. At the outdoor pool again. Quite good there, isn't it? Especially in the warm sunshine. Mm. Warm water, warm sunshine. And now they're eating chocolate. Especially when you get chocolate, it's good. So... Let's get home and get some right. tea. Right, so we're back home and uh, it's time to get tea sorted, washing put out on the line, washing brought in, washing put away, tea's in the oven for the kids and the oldest two have gone out. Thanks for the help again, girls. Mm. Well, it's good because Verity and Delilah have been very good and helpful and they're watering the plants at the moment. So I'm uh, just going to get on with some jobs and uh, get them into bed because tomorrow we're going to the beach. Wow, it's been a bit of a busy day. We've cleared the, uh, the garage out. Uh, that looks really good now. Uh, or it looks a hell of a lot better than it did. Um, we uh, then I took the girls on to uh, the pool this afternoon. Had a great couple of hours in there. Right, it got a bit cold, we got out, wrapped her in a towel, she ate some chocolate, had a drink, jumped straight back in. Um, so yeah, we had a good couple of hours in the sun, in the water, really, really enjoyed that. 
and it's just on the doorstep, so that's really, really good. Um, so, got home, had tea, ran around like a blue ass fly, cutting the grass, bringing the washing in, sorting the washing out, getting the washing in the dryer, blah, 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 blah. Um, then tackled trying to sort out um, getting the, uh, the videos uploaded, or at least onto the laptop, onto the PC, onto everything. Backed up, realised there was a problem, ah, panic mode, sorted that out, relax again. Then watched the very end of the uh, the Olympic men's road race. Poor Garrett Thomas, uh, horrible place to crash. Um, so near the end, he was in with a shout, but that's racing for you. Uh, Rich Port, I know he's Australian, but Christ, that crash looked bad. I hope he's alright. Um, but yeah, so the girls are just getting ready for bed. I'm uh, just having five minutes. I've got a chicken karma cooking on the hob for me and Helen when she gets home from work. And then it's chill out time. Um, beach tomorrow. So uh, look out for a good bleach, beach, blo beach vlog. Um, and that's that. I don't think I've got anything else to say. Oh yeah, Huddersfield Town, opening day of the season. They beat Brentford 2-1 at home. Fantastic result. First time they've won the opening game of the season since 2010. Cracking, cracking. Looking forward to the rest of the season. Right, that's the end of this one. Goodbye.